Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and the iPhone 13 mini and the iPhone 13 are the latest phones from Apple that are not pro models. And so I wanted to help you decide if you wanted to go with the smallest iPhone this year or go with the slightly larger non pro model. So I'm going to go over all of the differences and we'll talk about everything that's the same toward the end, but there's four major differences. Now the easy way to distinguish the iPhone 13 versus the iPhone 12 series models is the camera module. You can see the iPhone 12 mini on the left and the iPhone 13 mini on the right. The camera module now has diagonally placed lenses. So that's an easy way to tell the difference. Other than that, it's hard to tell the difference year over year. Now, as far as the colors go this year, they're the same on both models. And so as you can see, this is a newer blue color. We also have a new pink color as well. So there's a new pink color. They also have a silver, which they call starlight. They're calling black midnight. So all of the colors are the same. So that should not be a determining factor with these particular phones. Now, the first difference is the price. The iPhone 13 mini comes in at $699 and goes up to $999. You have three different options for storage, 128 gigabytes, 256 gigabytes, or 512 gigabytes. With the iPhone 13, you have the exact same storage options, but you add $100 for the overall price. So it starts at $799 and goes up to $1,099. Now, if you want to get them unlocked on both of them, you'll have to pay an additional $30 as that's what Apple charges on the non pro models for an unlocked iPhone. If you get them through your carrier, they'll be the prices I stated before. And those prices are for the United States. Now, the next thing that's different is the size. Obviously the iPhone 13 mini is smaller. It's similar to that of an iPhone five series phone. And a lot of people like the smaller size. That means everything on it is smaller from the overall feel to it, to the weight where the iPhone 13 mini is 4.97 ounces or 141 grams. The iPhone 13 is 6.14 ounces or 174 grams. So you have a larger display and overall body of the phone on the 13. In fact, the 13 and the 13 pro are the exact same size, but these phones are made out of aluminum and have ceramic shield on the front. Now, obviously the displays are a little bit different as well on the iPhone 13 mini. It has a 5.4 inch display, the same size as last year. It has a 2,340 by 1,080 pixel resolution at 476 pixels per inch. It's the highest density pixel density of any iPhone out there right now. When it comes to the iPhone 13, it's 6.1 inches measured diagonally like the 13 mini, but it's 2,532 by 1,170 with 460 pixels per inch. So like I said, the 13 mini has a slightly higher pixel density. Now with the smaller size of the 13 mini comes a slightly smaller battery because you just don't have the room to work with inside. You have a smaller battery at 2,406 milliamp hours or about 200 more milliamp hours than the 12 mini. So it is a larger battery than last year, but it's still smaller than the 13. The 13 is 3,227 milliamp hours, and that's up almost 400 milliamp hours over last year. So they've increased the overall battery size because they've, they've reduced the chipset size inside and they've actually made it much faster, but they both have the same chip inside with the same amount of Ram, the a 15 bionic with four gigabytes of Ram. Now with the iPhone 13 mini having a smaller battery, the battery life is pretty significantly different between both of these phones. Now I reached out to my brother who has a 13 mini as his main phone and asked him to send me some screenshots of his battery life. He uses it full time. It's his only phone. And with his battery life, he's getting about five hours and 19 minutes of screen on time, four hours and 52 minutes of screen off time and using 100% of his battery. I asked him for another day and he has said basically the same thing. It gets him through a day and you'll see 100% usage with five hours and 39 minutes of screen on time, two hours and 52 minutes of screen off time. It's charged at night and then taken off of the charger in the morning. So expect about five and a half hours of screen on time with regular use. It's better than last year's 12 mini, but it's still not as good as the 13. Now, again, I reached out to someone that uses a 13 full time and his name is Rio on the discord server that I have. And that's linked in the description. And again, you can see here's his screen on time, five hours and 39 minutes of screen on time, seven minutes of screen off time. But at this point, using about 60% of the battery life again, another day, five hours and eight minutes of screen on time, 18 minutes of screen off time. 
and about 50 to 60% of the battery. So you can expect much better battery life on the 13 versus the 13 mini. Expect maybe two to three hours, depending on how you're using it, maybe even double. It just depends how often you're using different apps. But if you're a typical regular user, you definitely will see a much better battery life experience on the iPhone 13. Of course, you could always plug them in and they both fast charge at about 50% in 30 minutes. But when determining which one to buy, everything else is the same. From the forward facing cameras to the notch they're housed in, you'll see the notch looks slightly different on the mini just because the notch is the same, but the screen size is different. The rear cameras are identical. They can both record 4K 60, 4K HDR, and they're both really great phones overall. Again, everything else is the same from the build to the Wi-Fi to 5G with millimeter wave and everything else. There's no differences other than what I've already mentioned. So when you're determining which one you should purchase the iPhone 13 mini or 13, it basically comes down to price size and battery life. And that would be the determining factors for you, or maybe the deal you can get from your carrier as a lot of them have deals where you can get one free. So I know the 13 mini is quite popular and it's rumored that it's going away next year, but it depends probably how well it sells this year. So again, the 13 mini and 13 are both great. Same processors and everything else, same Ram, the A15 Bionic with four gigs of Ram. No other considerations really need to be made between both of them. So let me know which one would work best for you. Are you picking up a 13 mini, a 13, or maybe you decided to go with the 13 pro or 13 pro max or stick with your older phone. I'd love to hear which one you're using or picking up in the comments below. If you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, of course, I'll link it in the description like I normally do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.